So what did we have here? We had a number of things. We had the augmented matrix. So this is this matrix that's in this form. And you need to be able to take a linear system and recognize and be able to put it in this form and recognize what it is and what it means and recognize that each column right, is referring to a different variable. So in the previous example, this was w, x, y, z, and everything in here was the right-hand side. Okay. I did a number of things that were row operations. I'll talk a little bit about that, but you should be able to recognize what a row operation is, and you need to recognize what row echelon form is and when is a matrix in row echelon form. Okay. So row operations. Oh, row operations is when you take, or, I'm sorry, I should say, these are all row operations. If I take a number and multiply every entry in a row by that constant, that's one operation. If I take two rows and add them together, that's an operation. And this is something we haven't seen, is if you take two rows and flip them, or swap them back and forth, that's a row operation. So sometimes if you get to a pivot at zero, you have to swap rows in order to use it, the new system as a pivot. Okay. And now, so we tried to put things in row echelon form. The reason we did that was to solve a linear system. It makes it easier to work with it. Uh, the idea is you first start with the top row. Right? You find the leading coefficient that's not zero. Make all zeros in, in columns below it. And you start repeating that from the uh, second row, third row, fourth row. You keep doing that over and over and over again. Um, when, if, when you do that, when you get the thing in row echelon form, you can basically then start from the bottom and go to the top. Use the, the bottom to solve for whatever you used for the pivot. Then you go to the row above, substitute back things using the pivot, and you just keep going to use the row above that until you get down to the first row. Okay. So you need to be able to recognize when you're done, when is the thing in row echelon form? And basically, it's these three situations. Right? If you have a row with all zeros, it's at the bottom. If you pick any given row, and you find the first column that has an entry that's not zero, okay, um, then every number below that in that same column has to be zero. Okay? And uh, if you look at uh, all those entries, everything, if you look at all the rows below it, all the columns to the left have to also be zero. Okay, thank you.